Allora, signori, cominciamo. Abbiamo un'ora e due leoni con cui parlare, quindi tante domande, tante, tante cose da, da chiedere. Jan Lauers, Leone d'Oro 2014. Fabrice Mourjat, Leone d'Argento 2014. E la prima domanda che voglio farvi è perché il leone? Che cosa avete fatto di buono, che cosa avete fatto di bello? per vincere questo, questo leone. Abbiamo letto le motivazioni naturalmente, abbiamo ascoltato i vostri discorsi molto importanti, in alcuni passaggi molto significativi, eh, ma qual è il, il segreto del vostro teatro che vi ha fatto meritare questo leone? Cominciamo allora con, con Fabrice, Fabrice Mourjat. Cos'è la caratteristica del tuo teatro che ti ha portato a vincere il leone d'argento. First, first there's a I don't think there's a secret because uh, uh, the secret is the research, uh, the sincerity of the research because uh, if um, I I never asked me the question of the, um, the 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 how will it be uh, a super show and uh, the, the question of how to have a, a silver lion, I don't know. It's just a, a, a research, honest, with people, with a, um, a company that is um, uh, a long way to work together. For, for me, it's a short way. Uh, we, we work for five years, but <laughs> I, I just uh, want to say that I think that sincerity and um, doubt, always being doubt, um, that and, and, and questioning the world and uh, um, testify uh, of what I'm seeing. The danger for me is to be always in my dark room with my actors because I, I can't see the world, so I have nothing to tell. E quindi se vuoi definire con un aggettivo il, uh, il tuo lavoro è proprio la sincerità. I try, I try to never listen to journalists, to... Um, i try to, to do not make something that audience will appreciate. I hope that they, they will, it will be like a mirror for them. They will see their, um, their life and the life I, I try to represent, but um, I, I don't try to, to make something pleasant. Uh, or also, I don't try to imitate someone. I, have, um, I do not have model. I have people, uh, I have seen works I like. I know people that I would like to have their talent, but I, uh, there is no reference. It's, it's not um, a, a theater that has references. But it has, because we invent anything. <laughs> Jan Lowers, Leone d'Oro. <laughs> Qual è, qual è allora il segreto di questo leone d'oro? Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I think, first of all, the, this prize is, is um, first of all, an invention. Um, I think it's a clever invention. And uh, the moment that, as an artist, um, they were very nice uh, asking me if I would accept uh, the Golden Lion. I wonder if I would say, no, I don't accept it, what would happen? <laughs> so um, I said yes because I like the ritual and I think it's important to, to have this Golden Lion uh, to, to, that is ex this is existing because uh, it gives a certain respect to the world of theater. And um, maybe they gave it to me uh, because of the fact that I try already uh, since the late 70s, beginning of the 80s, um, I considered uh, theater as a, I tried to make theater as a medium of art. Uh, and As I said before, it was it, uh, theater was more uh, educational, more uh, entertainment, uh, and the classical repertory belonged to the canon of culture. 
And what happened in the 70s through the, the performance art, uh, there was a radical change in theatre. Uh, a lot of artists of my generation, like Castellucci, Fabre, uh, and other people, but also before that, just a bit before that, Bob Wilson, they all came out of the visual arts. Also, Tadeusz Kanto came out of the visual arts. Um, and the difference is that, that um, uh, the idea of an artist making theater is uh, not existing so long. It, it was a group of actors doing a play, uh, and the invention of a director is very late. So historically, uh, there's not so much documentation about what was theater before, but we, the difference between a, a director, a theater director, and a, 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 an artist who works in theater is that a, um, I think a director is only half an artist. It's, it's um, using or trying to uh, work with another artist, namely the writer. And what happened in the 70s was much more, what can we do with the stage? What, can, what does it mean when there is an actor? On, so the meta level um, became very important. And maybe that's one of the reasons why the Biennale, who, um, yeah, honored that. I think. Per questo e sicuramente anche per molti altri. <clears throat> Riflettiamo su questa figura dell'artista, dell appunto, dell'artista che si trova di fronte a una pagina bianca, che si trova di fronte a un palcoscenico eh, vuoto e comincia la sua ricerca. Allora, quando, quando e come inizia la vostra ricerca? Da cosa? inizia la vostra ricerca? Qual è la necessità che vi spinge alla creazione? Um, for, for me it's uh, an observation of something, a move. Um, I, I just want to, to maybe complete for the, my side of, of the country <laughs> the, what, what said uh, Mr. Lovers, because we didn't have this change in the 70s or maybe 20 years later. <laughs> um, I come from a school who had, um, like, like if the masters were, were not generation before, but two or three generations before, like the, the um, uh, living theater, we just had the group of where my, my, my teachers in, um, in the part of the country, but we had the influence of the French theater. So it was very difficult to have this approach and, and to consider that visual arts, just a move, just a line of color of energy could be something, could, could, could be a tail on stage. And um, I do not come from uh, the text. I, I, I went in theater li like, I, I saw living out very late in my life while I was uh, a student in art. Um, so my first point to, to imagine something, to draw or, or to, to, to write it, is um, something I can't say, because if I, it was possible to say it, I, 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 wouldn't, I would not um, do something uh, on stage. I, just, I would just say it. Um, so it's, it, it comes from the impossibility to, to, to express myself. And then it can, I just draw a space. I don't know what will be inside, but I know how, to, how we can move inside. And then the story and um, the spoken text is never very important. It's the relationship between the energy or the, um, the elements of the dramaturgy. It could be video, that could be a, a sound. I don't work with dancers, but I work with singers. It's, it's, um, it's the relationship between all those elements that make what I, I, how I can express myself. Mr. Lowers. E come inizia la sua creazione? Da quale momento? Cos'è che stimola la sua creazione? Sappiamo che lei lavora in tante eh, discipline diverse, arte, musica, arti visive, eh, composizione musicale, scultura, teatro, danza. Eh, qual è però la scintilla? Qual è il momento che fa iniziare un nuovo progetto? Questa mm. è una grande domanda, perché poi parli di vita, ovviamente. And it's true what uh, Fabi said, that um, if you can just say it, you don't have to make it anymore. I totally agree on that. But it is, uh, I try to 
find um, a dialectical connection with, uh, between art and society. I think that's very important. When there is no connection, then I think art is repulsive or art is uh, <coughs> not interesting. Um, so to do, that's the first step. So for example, when I do uh, this masterclass, we work with uh, 20 young people from different countries. They don't know each other, we don't know each other. And we come together and we don't kill each other. That's already a first step uh, of humanity. And I think uh, what I try to do with my theater, to, it's a, a very human approach. I think art is uh, creating conflicts. Art is creating positive conflicts. For example, politi the politicians now, they are creating negative conflicts. And um, my work in the 90s was a bit more uh, provocative than uh, in 2000. I changed a bit. I made a switch in my mind. I said, let's, let's try to communicate. Let's try to create a positive conflict. And I think um, um, when I would not feel this uh, possibility to create positive conflicts, I would not work with people. I can also go into my atelier and work alone. But the fact that you have to work with pe people, this act, this deed, that you give your time away to other people, that you create a communication through a positive conflict, is that's the element that makes theater politic, politi yeah, political. Um, and so there are so many questions that you can ask and there are so many failures that you can make and there are so many possibilities that you can create that um, that's a general idea for me art is really um, freezing the time if art doesn't provoke that then it is not existing that's why I think art is always um, um, existing in the memory. Art is never here and now, art is in your memory. When you see an object and you take the object away and it is not in your memory, then it doesn't exist. There the visual art, the theater comes together. When you, you decide your time to watch a, a, a painting and in theater the time is decided by the director or the performer who does it, but in fact, when you leave the theater, or when you leave the museum, at that moment, art starts to work. So art is always historical, I think. And uh, I can go on for hours, but, but I don't know. <laughs> it, it is, it, it, the, the humanity of, of the medium, I, I start to, when I started in the, um, theater, I hated theater, I was in, uh, I was studying visual arts. I was uh, frustrated by uh, the surroundings, what I saw. I, um, I didn't feel um, the radical ideas of conceptualism in the, in the late 70s. I thought you have to, there must be more, uh, there must be something else. <clears throat> and I have chosen the medium theater because it was totally not existing in my world. It was totally not existing in the art that I liked. I, th I thought theater was really a perverse medium. It was a, a non-existing art medium. And so I hided myself behind that to start from zero again. And after 30 years, I think it's one of the most powerful and most beautiful uh, media in the art world. Because it's the less corrupted medium, I think. There's no corruption in theater. You buy and sell lies, but you know that. And you, you sell your truth although this truth can be also a lie. The, you, have, you create a positive conflict when you work, but you also create a positive conflict with the public. You make an agreement. You sit in the audience, you watch something, and we agree that we do that. So it's a very honest and very social medium. Eh, vorrei cogliere la suggestione del tempo, no? del rapporto con, appunto, con la memoria, ma per, chiedervi una, per farvi una domanda molto 
eh, banale e, e concreta. Come gestite il vostro tempo? Come definite il tempo delle prove? E come definite il tempo dello spettacolo? Quanto devono durare le prove? Quanto deve durare uno spettacolo? È qualcosa che stabilite a priori o è un tempo che inventate di volta in volta? Um, no, I, um, the, in our job we have to planify two, three years uh, for big project, four years before what we will do. I know what I will do in, uh, in uh, January 2016 and it's very boring because we always want to to do what we want to do now. But there's a long time preparing a project because uh, after, after the moment the, that, that is very, which is very precious, um, the moment fixed when you have an idea and you, you say in your mind, I want to do that, three years later or two or one and a half, you will do it, but um, it never quits your mind. But Rehearsing, I, for me, and it's changed for every artist, I believe only in very short time for rehearse, five or six weeks, um, with workshops before, with experimenting like we are doing with the, the, the students or the, the people of the workshop here. Um, I believe to improve each experience with the stage. And um, we, for me, I, I never do a new, new show. I change the medium. For me, the medium is the message. How we use the medium is the message. And um, it, it's always, I just feel in six years I have made the same play, but I've changed my, my mind. I, I'm, more, I'm older, my son is older, so my relationship to the world is different. But I, I'm just asking, the medium, and um, I don't know, but rehearsing, I believe, in short times, because I, I, as I'm changing each day, uh, it costs uh, <laughs> um, money, <laughs> and, uh, and it's, uh, well, yeah, we have to do the premiere, and also we have to change the play during the, the tour. Yeah, it, it's, it's a very um, open question, I think, because, Um, uh, uh, I understand the pressure that uh, that Moja is, is is explaining. What, what we uh, try to do when I say we, it's uh, is a neat company. Um, we try to avoid uh, opening nights. Uh, we try to avoid what we have to do in 2016. Of course, you cannot always escape that, but. Um, uh, you have to find a way to escape from the, the practical situation. So what, I, what we developed over the years is a variation, a possible variation of work, a possible variation of using the time. So we do performances where there is uh, not one day rehearsal, We go somewhere and we do a performance and we just say, this is the team, we see what happens. That's the most radical thing. We do open um, houses, we, 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 we do performances in Musea where we perform eight hours. There's no director. Then we make very precise shows where I'm the director and the writer. Or we make a dance show, a choreography with Grace Allen Barkey or uh, Martin. Segers, who is making uh, a, a composition, uh, uh, preparing concerts, uh, making solos. So there, it's a lot of energy, a lot of energy exchange in, in between an ensemble. Uh, and that was my safety net. Uh, because we have this ensemble and we have the advantage, and Fabrice doesn't have that, We have the advantage of having uh, support from the government uh, over the years. So every year we have a grant to work. So we know that in advance. So um, we decide to use that money very clever and we try to survive with it. Um, and so the practical thing we put a little bit aside and we try to be as free as possible. We, we try to be free spirits exchanging ideas and working on 
extremely different uh, levels. And by, for example, when I say we don't we don't like opening night, uh, we try really not to have that. Um, of course, when you have a co-producer who gives a lot of money, you start your show there, so to speak. But in fact, you did it before, and he doesn't have to know it. Um, so, so you cheat a bit around these problems, um, which gives you um, a nice subversive feeling. Yeah. But you have to be, as an artist, you have to survive. As an artist, you have to... I feel also with the younger generation that there's much more calculation, much more cal calculation necessary uh, to survive. Um, and I think that's also because of the, the training, the, the, the theater schools, the universities. Um, they, there's a formatization. And I think you have to fuck format. F format is really bad. When I, when, I, when I work with young people, they say, yeah, I have to write a script about my, me being a director. Instead of making a, a theater piece, there are more people studying theater science than making theater. So I'm afraid of the future that the last year in university in, in Brussels, <coughs> sorry, in Ghent, there were like 26 people studying theater science and there was only one studying director. So there's a disbalance in intellectualization and all that and I'm a bit afraid of that, that this format that... Um, uh, now a theater critic studied to become a theater critic. Can you believe that? I mean, I didn't study theater at all. And most of my generation never studied theater. We just did it. And sometimes I think to over, over organize young people can destroy them also. Rivolgiamo naturalmente la domanda a Fabrice Mourja a questo punto, visto che rappresenta una, un, giovane, un giovane leone. È vero, c'è un eccesso di formatizzazione? I entirely agree, and um, that's a pain because, um, you know, the worst is how will think the audience and journalists. Can we effectively uh, um, learn to be a critic? Uh, it's, it's you are the, 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 the most important critics. Um, it's I, I, I come from the Festival d'Avignon and it was very difficult for me. It was the first time and uh, there the, um, uh, it's, it's a very important festival. There is an history, uh, an history with the audience. That's wonderful, that's beautiful. And um, a lot of people go there just to show themselves and particular programmers, French programmers, they decided that what is fashion and what is not. And we see then uh, programmation with a playlist and uh, when you are a young artist, um, they try to put you in a, in a tiroir. A tiroir. Um, and, and it's very difficult because we, th they have a grid of references. And the, the power of theater is to invent new, new, new um, way to use the media. Um, all is possible here because that is living art. And we don't need anything to do theater. It, to, to, to do a show. If you see a sunset uh, and you decided that you are seeing something and that uh, there's a time of beginning and maybe no time of end, that's a show because there's a show to see. And um, now, but my, I mostly um, each time work in France, so it's very difficult and I, I want to change this because um, I think the, the, with the time of crisis, this time of crisis with um, the increase of the, the government with the culture, um, people go to format more and more and more. And uh, in time of um, increase, we have to be more militant and not, uh, not to format the forms. Um, Jan Lowers, uh, ci raccontava prima della bellezza di avere un ensemble, no? di lavorare in una, con una copertura, con una rete di persone che sono accanto. Eh, qual è però la difficoltà 
Qual è l'altra la, faccia della Luna di lavorare in compagnia? Lei è stato a lungo anche un artista solitario e poi ha scelto di eh, aver bisogno di compagnia. Ma ci sono delle difficoltà nel lavorare in gruppo? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, uh, if you work with human beings, of course there are sometimes. But, but I must say that is not so interesting. Um, the, you have to create an ensemble where everybody has chosen to be there and can step out of it at any moment. Um, if you don't feel the necessity of everybody at the moment that you are working on something, if you don't feel the necessity, then you are lying to yourself and you are lying to your colleagues. And then you waste your time and you waste the time of your colleagues. And that's a very clear agreement. If you make theater at that moment, it has to be the most important thing. So um, when you are in creation, uh, you have to deal with the social life. If you are a group that's doing a lot, you have to know that in advance that your social life and you have children and all that, is, it can be delicate, it can be difficult, but that's your problem. So the necessity to be there um, for every individual is the glue. And when that is there, then there is no problem. And of course you have to find an inspiration uh, i have to be inspired by them, they have to be inspired by me. Um, if the inspiration is over, then also something can stop. So it's not, it's, it's an ensemble that's in evolution. And some of them uh, are 30 years together, others are new. Um, so there's always new people coming in, other people coming, going out. Um, the freedom is necessary to create a, a positive conflict. Mr. Lowers. Quali sono le caratteristiche dell'attore o del performer per lavorare con lei? First of all, um, the people who work in the company they have to know the difference between an actor and a performer. If you don't know that, you cannot work with the company. Um, secondly, you have to know the difference between production and reproduction. Third, the difference between presentation and representation. You have to know what the situation is and you have to know what an image is. And then you have to be very good in, with your skill and incredibly beautiful. <laughs> and then you have to speak four languages. So you find them all over the world. Uh, no, I, I, I think it's, it's, <coughs> it's true that, that um, if you don't know the, perf the, the difference between a performer and an, and an actor, it, then you have a problem. A performer is a, a creator of, of an, uh, a moment, uh, is, is, is uh, doing something that you cannot reproduce. That's the definition of a performer. An actor, I talk about performer in the visual art world. Eh? Uh, an actor is trained to reproduce. Um, and I want to find the balance between the two. In the performance in the 70s, in the 60s, the Wien uh, Actionist, uh, Abramovich, Joseph Beuys. Joseph Beuys was, uh, in fact, uh, the one who inspired me to make theater because when I saw his performances, I saw that he was lying and that he was uh, reproducing. And I understood he's doing theater now. And then the next step was that uh, with um, uh, Marina Abramovich, her partner, Uh, one of her partners was uh, Michel Laup. He was um, doing performances with people doing what he wanted them to do physically. Also Jan Faber did that, also I did that in the 70s, uh, 79, 80. Um, and then I realized you cannot, uh, like a performance of Abramovich, cutting in a, a star in your belly, you can do that for you. Uh, in your own belly, but you cannot ask an actor, can you cut yourself or can you uh, sniff coke until you die on stage or something? That's a choice a performer can do, but not an actor. An actor is trying to understand what the director wants to do in this case. Eh? An actor can also decide what he wants to do himself and not working with the director. That's as good as, as uh, <coughs> that's also good. But, but 
the fact that I realized that uh, you cannot ask a person to be a performer in the real sense of the world. As the moment that you have a director or somebody asks you to do that, then there's a theater necessary because otherwise it becomes perverse. If I would ask as a director, can you all cut yourself? I think I would be a, an insane guru or something. So I realized you cannot do that. Uh, so the step to go into theater out of the performance was very important for me. Um, so this difference between performance and acting is very important. Uh, the difference between presentation and representation, production and reproduction is the same thing. You have to produce every night and not reproduce. Uh, and we have systems in our uh, in Need Company to avoid um, this representation, to avoid this reproduction. We make booby traps in the shows that it's not possible to do every night the same thing. Um, that is. Uh, if you see Isabella's Room, for example, we played that already 11 seasons now. 11 years uh, Isabella's Room. Um, when Vivian de Monk, that's an actress I work with in Isabella's Room and also uh, Fabrice works with her. She's one of the best performers, uh, actresses in, uh, in Europe, I think. And she knows also what this difference is between production and reproduction. And hearing her 300 times playing the same play, um, I never hear it the same. There's always something happening, and when she sees that the, the other actors are going into a routine, she will push them off stage and vice versa. So we try to deal with the situation, hic et nunc. The situation is there now, even when you have to do a show that you know very good. So you try to challenge that, you try to find a system to avoid this reproduction. This you have to understand as well. And then the difference between an actor and a dancer, for example, is also very important to know that an, an actor, a classical actor, uh, projects his, his words to the last row behind the audience, so to reach everybody. And so it's a very frontal approach of energy. A dancer has a, has a 360 degrees uh, approach. Uh, this combination, this you have to understand as well, um, and things like that. So, so it's um, it is it is a, a question of um, finding technical systems to do that. We have uh, different improvisation systems to uh, to realize that. One of the most difficult things that Vivian um, found in the beginning that I worked with her was that. The psychological line that an actor does, he goes from A to Z. And what I do is, she explained that to me, when I want to go to B, you are starting C somewhere else already, and I have to wait or I have to go faster, and it fucks up my train, she always says. You fuck up my train. Uh, until she understood that, that it's not about the, the, the dramatic line of an actor, it's about the total. It's, about, it's not about the line that you say, but what is happening between the lines. And that's for an actor also very difficult to understand that he cannot go into his psychological bubble because the bubble explodes because there are always different centers at the same time. But that's maybe too technical. Eh? Uh, forse Fabrice Mourja, uh, prima di raccontarci della nascita della compagnia Artara, vuole approfondire questo tema della differenza tra performance e recitazione, come diciamo noi in Italia. Qual è il suo ambito di ricerca in questo senso? Qual è l'attore o il performer che sta cercando? I don't know if I, I heard the difference between actor or performer. Um, for me I heard the difference between a, an actor invested or not, because um, what we wait from an actor is to say, come on, read that and he will put his life in danger to read that. Uh, uh, his story, he see um, b b um, for a few things, he see a mountain in front of him of job, of work. I think an actor have to walk and put himself in danger. His memorial sensitive, uh, his sensitive memory, his uh, sensorial memory, 
and um, and that's we wait for an actor. And also, of course, now um, for the, the 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 job of director exists for 100 year maybe. We need also him to understand the 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 image in which he is or, or she is. Um, and also do again each night. If effectively, with Vivian, that's uh, she deal with the moment, with all events, and she want to to to. She wants the danger because um, she profits of the accident. All right, um, and this is here and now, uh, and this is um, what we wait for an actor. So I don't know if. Uh, uh, we are talking about that or performer. Yeah, we like when um, performers have a lot of uh, skills, but uh, and if the, if they are best, the best in their skills. Um, but um, I think this, if it's this difference between actor and performer, the actor, the pure actor, the classical one, has to disappear. How did you create the group? Um, the group is born um, in 2010. Uh, first, it was just a, a school job. Um, effectively, about the, the I was 20 years, so it was um, uh, a mix of um, of text. There, there, there wasn't text at fine in between. Um, uh, political text of Thomas Sankara and uh, about the theater of Fontana Arto, when you have 20 alls, it's very important, and <laughs> it's, um, you, you project your imagi imagination of what was Le Théâtre et son double. So I've studied it, I have read it, I think, 100 times when I was 20 years old, and it became a religion. Now I, I laugh when I see it, but I, I like it, and I want to read it again, um, to understand it differently now, because, uh, as uh, the school um, bring me uh, um, to see um, plays that in which I, 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 I was an actor first, but in the kind of plays I, in which I was acting, I, I didn't have any control on the image. And what we say to an actor is to understand the image in which he, he is, but also to, to, to have an impact on this image to create it. And um, I, I was not happy in this place because I w have worked with director that um, who had this uh, this vision of the classical actor. And then I became to, to, to tell my stories. Um, and uh, I had a child when I was 22 years old and I was a little bit lost between this, uh, this status of old, uh, adolescent or teenager, sorry, and a young, uh, young adult. <laughs> and um, I have read at this moment a blog, um, a young boy in Emsdetten in Deutschland, uh, in Germany, um, a young boy who, who killed uh, many of his friends, a school shooting. And before the police took the blog from the web, I downloaded it and uh, I decided to to, to write a play about it. It was a documental uh, material. It was something through, and, and, and I liked it. So then I developed other projects about, um, so, so often they told about my theater was something generational. I had this uh, uh, new technology, that is not new technology. Armand Gatti made video in the 70s, in the 60s, Jan <laughs> did video a long time uh, um, ago, and um, I hate these terms of new technologies of a gener generational theater because it's 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 um, uh, a kind of mépris for the, for the for the young creation. Um, and um, then I I I try to provoke exp new experience of life that will will be a source for new plays like traveling with Vivian. We travel in ghost towns uh, in the world. And uh, my meeting with her there, uh, we don't have th the same age, we uh, don't have the same story with theater, with, um, we don't um, come from the same culture, from the same country, but uh, she has a Germanic culture and I have a, a Mediterranean one. 
and um, and this positive conflict um, makes something. And um, I don't know what will be tomorrow, but uh, I hope it it I will do with the company uh, plays that will change me and that will change the way we do uh, theater. But it's often an uh, experience of life, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> domande, domande da parte vostra. Ce ne sono. Alex Rigola. Yeah. What are the last questions that uh, you're asking to yourself the last period before, before the premiere? You are asking to yourself in the last period of rehearsals. Oh, Jan? <laughs> Shall I jump in the canal? <laughs> when uh, that's a canal moment, they know that uh, uh, if that moment is there, then I think it will be okay. <laughs> the, 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 uh, but but it's, it's every time different. As I said before, th this, this opening night uh, syndrome, we try to take that away. We try to solve that in a different way. But of course, this, this, um, uh, I can, you, 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 you have to fail. Eh? The, it, art is also about failure. And uh, if you know that, you, you, you never fail. You never fail because, because this is part of the, of the game, part of the, yeah, part of the whole thing that you do. That's your life. Um, and I'm trying to find a real question that I'm asking myself at the end. I don't know. I don't have really like um, a very interesting question before the opening night or something. It's just, uh, let's do it, you know? I, it's a moment, um, as a director, you can do anything now. Um, you have to, to give the baby um, to the performers, and uh, you have to hope that, uh, that something could happen. Because I don't like to do, uh, um, uh, like rehearse, general rehearse with audience or something, because it's never the same uh, 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 audience, and the, the audience of the premiere is never the same. So I have fear, and I ask me questions in myself at the second one, maybe, because the premiere is always a premiere. Uh, it's strange, um, but it, I, I can answer to this question because it's each time different, and I don't have uh, such experience to 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 answer, but yes, it's, if I can describe a feeling is, uh, now the thing is not mine anymore. Yeah, also, maybe also, um, I ask myself the question of, is the, uh, like what you say, is it, this is not mine anymore? It's more, for me, it's more, um, did they understand me? Uh, did I, was I clear? with the code that we install, because that's what we do. When we make a show in it company, we try to install a code. And the m more clear the code is, the less work I have. Um, and with, uh, the, for example, with the newer people that I work with, I often say to them, you have to destroy my authority now. And if they do that in the wrong way, then I failed. So this, yeah, those questions are, often in my mind. It's a question of what is the authority of a director, for an example. That's a very important question. Um, I often hope that the thing I have created will be uh, stronger than me, that people will go out of the venue and, s and see a lot of things that I didn't wrote, written, that I didn't have written. And um, as if, if their history um, create a new story with my story, for me, that, that's, it's not failed. So, Jan, you said that uh, a director doesn't have the uh, 
it's not right for a director to ask an actor to bleed. Is that, <coughs> did I understand well? Yes. But, um, so, and in your distinction, the, if I understood well, the performer is the one that will eventually bleed, possibly, but as a, out of his own choice, rather than yes. the actor who will look for uh, a means to pretend to be bleeding, I guess. Yeah. Um, but what if you really want to tell the, uh, your audience, to tell the world, blood? Are you going to finally ask him to bleed and see if it's going to do it, or find a person who will just greet you saying, so I'm going to bleed for you? Yeah, but I think that's a very perverse thing. It's a very sick thing. Um, there are a lot of people who want to bleed. It's no problem to find people who want to kill themselves on stage also. Um, <laughs> you know, this is, this is not very interesting, I think. Um, th th this is, th the good part is in fact, if, if you cannot uh, do it for real, don't do it. So you can say, uh, you shoot somebody on stage, then you have to do it for real, and then the other one dies. You cannot do that, so we don't do that. Uh, how can we solve this, this problem? And then there are different possibilities to do that. You can play uh, with a theater trick, you can show the public that it's a theater trick, you can create the illusion, or you can destroy the illusion. Um, but in, on a very simpler level, um, you can ask, uh, I will never ask um, an actor uh, when he does a soliloquy, a monologue, um, at, this, at this word you have to, your voice has to break and you have to cry. A well-trained technical actor, classical actor, he can do that but it will be fake. So I will never ask my actors to do that, I will say there is a possibility. But at the moment that you're there and you feel more like laughing, that's your freedom. Uh, you see what I mean? But on the level of, 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 of uh, putting your, your life in danger, it is, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really against it. And uh, I respect people that do that. But I think it's uh, dangerous. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I, of course, you know uh, when I, w when we talked about bleeding, um, uh, I meant it as as a as a, an example of those you know of putting putting all of your life in a few lines. You know, it could it could be bleeding. Uh, it could be. Not bleeding, but it's th that's just an extreme example of somebody who's totally committed to do something. You know, I was just curious if, as a director, you know, you recognize that there are limits to your imagination. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm talking about you as an individual performer, as, a, as an actor. You have you decide yourself. You have to d decide yourself. So if you come into a room where you know that um, you can be killed, you have to make the choice to go into that room. I mean, it's so perverse. I, I, I mean, uh, I don't want to talk about politics, but uh, when you are in a war zone, like in Gaza or in Ukraine or whatever, you, you, you cannot say escape. Eh? And, and so if you want to imitate that in, in theater, I, I, I said to Abramovich when she was cutting in her ballet, um, we, we were a bit friends at the time, I mean, I know her very well, and she's a phenomenal woman, she's a fantastic uh, artist, I admire her a lot. But we had a little conflict. Uh, I, uh, I became father, and she said to me, uh, when, you, uh, when you are father, or, or to my wife and your mother, you cannot be an artist. Uh, and then I said, yeah, but... Um, when uh, my wife said, yeah, but as an artist, when I feel the pain 
by giving birth gives me the reason not to cut in my belly because that's a childish game cutting in your body. So that's what I mean. It's it's a, a matter of of of, of uh, putting the conflict in the right proportion. That's why I think the performers of the 60s were, in a way, naive, shooting yourself in your arm. You, it's the same naivety as the hippies, saying we go away from the world and we will survive. They didn't survive. Yeah. Two questions for Jan Lowers. Um, I wonder if you could say something about working with an ensemble and um, directorial authority, as I think there's a um, sort of contradiction in terms, um, but I seem to see it in your work. And secondly, if you could talk a bit about your work on Shakespeare. The first question I think I answered already a bit. Huh? Uh, the second question, uh, Shakespeare is, uh, for an artist, taking a holiday. When I do Shakespeare, I take a holiday. And when you do Shakespeare, um, you always fail. Um, and when you stage Shakespeare and you see the result, uh, you hate holidays. I was wondering about um, the role of improvisation with actors in your work, because I don't know your process, your work process, so I was wondering about it. If you usually uh, work by improvisation, or what do you think about this? in the creative process with an ensemble or with a group as you both do. Thank you. Fabrice Murja. Um, I worked with improvisation, yeah. Um, but at, at the end of um, a processes of rehearse, I, I write everything. It's not, in my company, it's not democracy. <laughs> it's not because it's not a collective work, it's my work. Yes, everybody, come with his stone to build a wall, but uh, I am the sculptor of the, st the, the stones. And um, they have to be able to accept that the material they bring will be uh, modified. But I can do nothing without their material. So um, I still ideas to the people I work with. But um, on the final, they have a uh, confidence. They trust me. And that's why uh, it, I can do something at the end. But um, I need improvisation at the first time of rehearsals because, uh, uh, no, I always need improvisation. Uh, um, and also during the, the, the performances after the premiere. But um, uh, if the structure of improvisation is small, the improvisation will be bigger. As small as it is, as big as it can be, it's like in the jazz, that's the super amount of <laughs> improvisation, I think. We don't have time, so I will let Jan Lauwers answer to the questions. Jan Lauwers. Um, improvisation uh, is like a chicken where you chopped off the head, and it runs all directions. <laughs> and it finally bleeds to death. Bene, su questa immagine ringraziamo Ian Lowers, grazie Fabrice Mourjah, grazie a voi, a domani.